Hey, what's going on guys? Evan from Model 3D and in today's video I'm going to show you how to set up Nano DLP on a Raspberry Pi for the Wanhao D7. So Nano DLP is essentially a wireless um, access terminal that you can access through your IP address. It runs from a Raspberry Pi and it stops you having to um, tether your printer to your computer. So first up you need a few things. You need a Raspberry Pi. This is the Pi 3 Model B. Um, a case this is just a cheap quick uh, print on my Wanhao Duplicator i3. Um, you need four cables, you need an Ethernet, a printer cable, a HDMI and a micro USB power cable. As well as this you need two software programs. First of all you need a Win32 Disk Imager from SourceForge. Um, all the links to everything will be down in the description below. Um, you also need a copy of Xloader, so download them and then on to the next step. So next you want to head to the 3D Printer Wiki page. This is the D7 um, Wiki. This is all the information you need about everything D7, so I highly suggest going about it, have a look, have a bit of a read. But um, yeah, this is all the information you need. Click on the easy install page at the top and you can read everything here. There's a written description of um, everything I'm telling you now. There's another video if you want to go and watch someone else tell you how to set it up. But all you need are these two links. You need the D7 version uh, 1.3 firmware. So you just click that and download that. And you also need to download the pre-configured Raspberry Pi SD image, um, which is the second link down. You can go, go on the mirror Dropbox so you can just download it direct. And once you've got all that, get your micro SD card. Uh, plug that into your USB port, any card reader will work. Uh, plug that in and bring up your desktop. Make sure you've got the X loader and the Win32 disk image ready. So once everything's ready and your SD card's inserted, uh, we're going to do the Nano DLP image right first. So we're going to use Win32 disk imager. Um, you can open this file just to check what's in there, but it's just the one disk image, as you can see, SD card. Um, you want to locate this as your image file on your Win32 disk imager, as you can see right there. Um, choose your device, making sure to triple check that it is the right drive and you haven't got an external drive or anything like that because it will wipe it and it will write this software to it. So make sure to, like it says, um, it can corrupt the device. So make sure you definitely, definitely know that it's the right SD card that you're choosing. Uh, once you're happy with that, click yes and away we go. It takes a little while for all this to process. It's quite a large file. I think it's about 8 gig, hence why I said to get a 16 or higher um, gig SD card. But just wait for it. As soon as that's done, then um, it'll come to the end and you can click OK and that's ready to go. And now that that's done, we're going to use Xloader to install the new firmware on the Wanhao D7. Um, this is for the version 1.3 of the 1.4. There's other ones out there if you need them. Uh, but you want to choose your file, change your device to the Atmega uh, 2560, choose your correct COM port for your USB, and change your board rate to 115200. And once you're happy with that, make sure to have your power cable and your USB and everything like that plugged into your D7. Turn the uh, machine on and make sure it's connected to your PC before obviously you click upload. And once everything's ready to go, just click upload. It only takes a few seconds. It will restart your D7. So don't worry about hearing the fans go off and on, all that. Um, and then everything's done. You're ready to insert and you're ready to start. So put your SD card into your Raspberry Pi. Uh, you want to connect the cables, such as the um, micro USB power cable, the HDMI, the Ethernet cable, and the USB. And next, go to your browser and type in nanodlp.com forward slash dashboard. Um, this will bring up all the Nano DLP systems on your network. Obviously, I've got two because I've got two machines. Um, but yeah, just click whatever comes up and here you are. It's ready to go. Um, you can run this from, from Ethernet if you like, but I choose to run it from Wi-Fi. Um, so obviously, you can see here you've got everything like your Z-axis calibration, your projector calibration, resin profiles plates, your setup, your terminals, all that kind of stuff. Um, there's loads of resin profiles already in there or you can create your own. It's really simple. But right now I'm going to show you how to connect Wi-Fi. So top right corner on the Nano DLP page you click Wi-Fi. Uh, all your networks will come up here. Um, choose your network, enter your password and click connect. It will say connecting and then once it's established it will say connected and it's ready to go. And the last thing you want to do is go to uh, setup click tools, you want to scroll right to the bottom and click expand file system. This will just make sure that you can have the maximum um, amount of files on your card otherwise you'll get issues with limited space. Just click expand file system, uh, click OK and it will restart your Pi and everything's ready to go. 
So I hope you liked this video. I'll have more videos on Nano DLP in the future, how to set up plates, how to work with support, all that kind of stuff. So if you liked it, make sure to hit the like button. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And I'll see you in the next video.